Hi, this is PJ. I'm a game designer, and today I'm going to react to the trailer of the game Throne and Liberty. Throne and Liberty is an MMORPG by NC Soft, which is uh, very well known for making other MMOs before. So there is a, a very high expectancy about this game. They have marketed this game for quite a while right now. Uh, I think the first trailer were from two years ago, I believe. So people have been spe speculating about this game a lot. And uh, I think it is right now already launched, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and yeah, let's see what they have to, to show us. This trailer has been uh, has been launched in about a week ago, something right like that. So yeah, let's see, and I'll, I'll give my input of what I what I look about the trailer, what I think about it. So let's go. The throne, irresistible to those who seek supreme power, once held by my noble king only to fall, like so many others, into the fires of betrayal. Really dark. But from the ashes of legends rises the hope of those to come. Okay, there's the gameplay. Forging new bonds and finding new strength. We formed a great resistance by uniting the strongest guilds to avenge our fallen king. And like the fearless fighters today, we march with our hero to reclaim Silesia. Nice. And we build liberty anew. I like the goblins. I really like the goblins. Now it's your time to join the battle. How will you Ooh. claim your throne? Ooh. Pretty good. Okay, play free now. So since this has been already uh launched for like eight days ago nine days ago so i'm guessing this is already free to play you can play it on ps5 xbox and on steam right okay right out of the gate i think this trailer is is really good it puts a lot of hype if you are especially interested in trying something like mmorpgs but maybe with a uh a new perspective i could say uh since this is very very recent and i haven't played mmos in quite a while i don't have much to to compare with the other games that i played in the past but we can look a little bit in the trailer again and try to understand some things here so first let me let me remove the sound a little bit throne there is this to those who so we have this power. this transition between the, the the first painting and the second painting showing flames so this is about the story of course this is trying to portray this uh fall uh, or failed kingdom and how this uh this transition will affect the the story that you will probably progress with your character so, since this is mmorpg i'm pretty sure you have a very uh, story-driven uh, main focus, but of course you are, you are. I I believe you you will not be required to play. Many MMORPGs are like that. You just focus on doing your missions, and you only focus on the story if you are really interested in it. You know. So we have this transition showing the the fallen king. And then the Fallen Kingdom. There are a lot of those monsters. I don't know what kind of monsters those are. Might be demons, might be abyssal creatures, or just monsters in general. I'm not sure. But it shows it shows like a battle campaign and those 
bigger ones might be generals or something. This one's look look, look like human. Maybe he has some kind of uh, maybe he has some kind of of uh, focus point in the story at some point. I think this is him again. Is this a king? Maybe this is the king. Okay, then we cut to to the the real moment, the present uh, timeline, and you see we have this eagle in what looks like uh, in-game footage. I'm pretty sure this is in-game footage. I don't think this is this is all CGI. So I th I think there there will be some maybe skills or some way of transportation that involves using the egos maybe you turn into an ego maybe you you hire egos to do some messages and then you control the egos i don't know okay yeah <laughs> this puts uh, things more and more clear we can see egos together with other players coming in the same direction this is probably to to reference the fact that this is a player this is a player using the ego power or something like that and those are members of his party i like the way they move i wanna can we do can we make it a bit slower this will make things easier to to react sorry about the sound so yeah and we can do this as well all right so we can see i like the, the the animation of those characters usually uh character animations is one of the bigger things that makes me ick or like the game these ones uh, i really enjoy look fluid not too exaggerated oh they fighting a beholder or something like that nice here we can see some characters doing magic. We see some melees with swords. Another magic. And then we get the, the gameplay stuff. We can see what might be your vision as a as a player in the in combat. So this is of course third person. And camera is on a a good height. You can see a little bit of the your surroundings i hope you can control the camera distance so you can make it farther or closer if you want i know a lot of players especially in mmorpgs like to have a broader vision so you can see exactly what is going on especially with monsters like these this is really big this is a very big monsters uh monster and we can see uh, in MMORPGs, a lot of those uh, very powerful bosses, they can be really big, really big. Some are, are even called world bosses, so just uh, just as a, as a context here. So I hope you, you, we can make the camera distance a bit farther, can make it go way back so we can see more of what is happening especially if it, in this game there are support classes and characters that can buff allies or damage a lot of uh, enemies at once so it is really good to have a good distance of camera so this is fine this is fine especially as a souls player uh i i like this distance but if we can go we can go further back it would be would be good magic we can see yeah this is uh, a classic mage with the robes and the pointy hat we can see them attacking enemies back there i think back there there's an archer no i'm not sure i can't, I can't say for sure and then the mage uses uh, this 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 uh harpoon or whip kind of thing and uses it to propel this is another character but they they make the motion fluid 
just for for the video so this is very nice this is a warrior we can see a bow and a, a great sword there we go getting down roll there's rolls in the game okay and rolling right after uh right after a fall to break the fall this is some parkour I like this. I like this. I don't know when you're going to to access this animation. If this animation is only when you you you're breaking your fall so you tumble, or if there is a button that makes you roll. Rolling mechanics is really good in my opinion because again I am a Souls player, but um, it is not that common in MMORPGs. So I wonder how much of an action based this game this game should be because we can see by the, the by the trailer that it is very action based which is something that's good uh turn based games are are a thing for from the past unfortunately I really like turn based games but MMOs have focused more and more on action and since the the internet connections that we have nowadays are much better than the ones that we had before the I could say the golden era of MMORPGs so uh, it is more it is more intuitive it, you it is more expected for you to see more MMORPGs going to the action side of things we cut to a new cinematic a lot of characters attacking this ogre demon guy. Then we can see plotting, and they at some point in the trailer they talk about uh, guilds. So there is of course uh, a guilding system, a social system for you to bring your friends around and to make uh, a bigger uh, a bigger community which I, I believe they they should be called guilds or something and it would probably make uh, guilds fight another guilds for dominance maybe about a, a place or artifact items powers something like that which is very common in MMORPGs and it is not surprising that they are bringing something like this to this game Right. I really like the, the art style. I haven't commented about the art style, but they they are focusing more on a realistic approach. And I really like the art style. This is very well done. Um, I like the, this detail of, you know, you don't see something like this. Uh, you can see, you can see what is happening over here. Since this is just a, just a corner, and there is nothing much happening here. They just put this here, and I believe it is just to bring some reality that this is a, a vision that is happening on a surface, and you can see the surface here. I, I don't know, but I, I think this is cool. Arrow, feather, yes, a feather. And once again, I think this is detailing the campaign, uh, the, the idea of making your community. And you have three sides of, of different characters. You have a mage. This one looks like the, their leader. So, and he has two swords. So maybe a, a dual wielding class. And then, then we have uh, this character using, uh, I believe, a two-handed sword. So maybe a more heavy oriented character character and i hope this is a heavy oriented character it is not that common to see heavy uh weapons character like this this is just a, a regular looking woman there is it is not you know oh i'm a heavy character so i have to be two meters tall and then super buffed this is fine this is nice i like this Back there, you can see this demon creature breaking the wall, and then we see more footage of the game. And this image, I think, this this scene is just so to portray the idea that the game can support a lot of players 
connecting at the same time. Since this is since this is a, an MMORPG, this is expected, but it is good for them to to put some footage out there showing this. Uh, so you can see a lot of characters. I would assume maybe 30, 40 characters here just in this scene. There are some monsters and the eagles right there. I don't. I'm not sure if those those big monsters are players too and they they can transform into this this enemy this this monster thing this it would be really cool on MMO to to see this this happening i don't know if this is too common on MMOs as i said before i've stopped playing MMOs in a long time ago but th this looks really cool uh, I, I don't know if this is a checkpoint, maybe this is an in-game in thing, this light beacon. And they, it seems like they are, they are going to siege this castle. So maybe this is their, their guild versus guild mode. More fighting. And th this fighting scene shows how this is very action-oriented. You can see how... Yeah, the way that they are attacking and all that. So, and when I mean, what I mean by 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 calling this Arion action oriented is uh, this is not like the older MMORPGs like Perfect World or Ragnarok Online, where you just click to target your your opponent and your your character just attacks automatically. And there is a stat that determines if you hit or if you miss. Uh, and then you can use your skills. This was very common at the time. Uh, so I think this is more action. In I mean, you press the button once and you execute one attack. And then if your opponent is in reach, you hit him, you do damage. Uh, this is what, I, what I'm talking about. And I believe Throne and Liberty is doing things like that. This is magic. So I think this is to portray that you invade this castle before here. And then you get to a, a chamber. So maybe, or maybe, maybe this is another game mode entirely. Like the, like the, the instance dungeons. You know, you go inside a dungeon. There is a boss. You fight through the dungeon. Until you get to the boss, fight the boss with your team, and if you win, you get many rewards that are specific to this dungeon. This is what I'm thinking this is right now. This is this has the vibe of a final boss, this uh, instance dungeon chamber. The art size is very good. I like the rooms. There are this this magic force field. And there are runes going up like he like he's he's casting some spell. Oh his detail so so cool too. Oh I love this. I love this this tribal look. Amazing, full of bones and the, the skull mask and the horns, the, the not horns, the, the antlers. I love this. Very uh well, what is it called? Very uh, pagan, very pagan and uh, sacrilegious or something like that. I love this. Love this. And he looks like a lich, judging by his hand uh, or some kind of zombie or something like that. So maybe he is a, a warlock, a necromancer. Okay, power. Then we see the goblins. I love those goblins. Look at those goblins, dude. I love this, this walk animation, run animation. Look. <laughs> they look so cool. I don't know why the, the beards, why they chose to, to give these goblins those long beards. Maybe just for comic, uh, comic expression, or maybe just to, just to tell a story. I don't know. This guy has a weird shield. Look at his shield. He's using a, a skill to throw the shield like Captain America, okay? Oh. 
Is this a werewolf? I love werewolves. Yeah, if uh, this is either a werewolf or a hybrid or something. Okay. Look at those the, those characters fighting, man. You can see everything. So there. So first of all, there is a lot of spells being flung at this werewolf. Look at how many spells. Look at this. This is either one spell that throws multiple projectiles or there are a lot of mages in this fight. Then we have the big guys. Okay, some fashion moments here. This guy is fully armored, golden armor. This guy using some robes, but he has a, a staff, so he's probably a mage. Which is something that, that it is also noticeable here. The the clans are the, the classes seem to be very uh very delimited. So you if you have a warrior, you can expect to build a warrior. So there is no no free uh, interchangeability. I don't even know if this is a word. But you if you start a warrior, you make a warrior to the end. There is no way to I'll start a warrior and then I can my, I can make my warrior use magic even if just a little bit. You know, it seems those classes are predefined and you have to stick to your decision to the end. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I haven't played the game. All right. Then this. I don't know what this is, but judging from what we can see, we can see some Probably some, hmm, I would say those are players, but those animations we haven't seen before. So I wonder if those are real players. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I don't think those are real players. I think this is a, a background scene, maybe for some cinematic even. But I think this is... Uh, a background for maybe a mission, one of the end game missions, maybe where everything is at stake, and you can see those big guys fighting in the background, and even those stronger guys fighting behind this tower. I don't know. Is this a throne? Is this the throne from the beginning? Maybe this is the throne. I don't know. I don't know. But everything is in ruins. There is a lot of fog in the back. Yeah, I think this is just a, a really cool background for a scene where you might fight. Maybe you're fighting the, the end game boss of the story mode here. I don't know. But yeah, so far so good. Then we have the, the title. I like the Triton title too. Throne of Liberty, I like the, this. The letters and how it mixes with the sword. Really good, really good, yeah. So this is it, guys. This, this was Throne of Liberty. Uh, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you back when, uh, when I keep making more, more of those videos. So yeah, see you.